hello so just doing a little video with all that's going on we're still in the pandemic but my county is opening up a, a little early they're opening up today which is April 29th hopefully this video goes up sometime soon but um so I'm still on the pressure washing journey but I am currently supplementing my income doing uh, some delivery runs um, so uh, I got a couple things couple goals I'm working towards um, the first goal is getting the four gallon a minute unit and yes I did start off and still have my 2.5 gallon a minute unit I'm still doing jobs with that but honestly all my sale like all the customer service and sales stuff I, I've done in the past it all starts with me with me believing in what I'm selling you know like it's always been easy for me to sell car parts and stuff like that after I got that knowledge and after I was comfortable with it you know for me to give out advice not necessarily like me trying and I guess the difference with that was I was selling people parts and even though I had plenty of knowledge, I was still hesitant at the end of the day of being like, oh, well, yeah, I could be your mechanic. And the reason for that was mainly because when I just didn't like the responsibilities and of those like little things that could happen along the way. So I guess a, a lot of fear, you know, I, I live with a lot of fear of, you know, things going wrong, you know, clips, things breaking in the process of you changing an alternator or a bunch of stuff that needs to come off of the vehicle for you to do it so these days you know mechanic work I'll do stuff that what I feel is really straightforward and it's it's important but it has low risk you know like I'll do somebody's brakes for them and whatnot because it's pretty simple you know um, it's important but it's pretty simple as far as the process goes and things that could happen you know along the way so I'm able to do that with confidence um, with the pressure washing jobs, I'm starting to have, I'm second guessing myself with my equipment because I'm just not seeing it perform like I, like I, like I feel like it should. And I guess part of that is definitely me looking at other people's equipments. And now I don't, I don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like, oh, okay, you know, I'm comparing myself to the guy with the eight gallon a minute unit. That's not the case. You know, I'm just looking at people who are, you know, just starting off and some of the basics, you know, so that four gallon a minute unit is on the list of things to get. So that's why I'm supplementing my income now so that I can keep on getting money coming in so that I can put, I can work towards that. Um, you know, this whole thing, I know to keep on telling you, like, you have to invest, invest in this, you know, but at the same time, I still do need to keep the lights on. You know, like I, I have to, you know, so I got, I have money for bills. So I don't want to really use that money. That's my bill money to get a new pressure washer. Also, the 4th of July is coming up. I'm hoping, you know, that, that you know, we're back to somewhat normal at the, uh, the 4th of July. Um, but it's actually one of the only holidays that I really enjoy. Um, I've always loved blowing stuff up and, and doing some fireworks. I'm by no means like a professional, but I definitely have experience, way more experience than your average person that's lighting fireworks. Um, I don't know. That's probably not the right thing to say, but it's okay. Uh, I'll take the blame for that. One. But um, yeah, so uh, I... I know that even with like fireworks, I felt like the best bang for the buck were mortars. So even though you have to like load them individually and whatnot, I still felt like they were the best. Um, you know, three inch shells, you get some really big booms. You do need some cakes in the mix if you're putting on a show, but I, I enjoy mortars. Um, but the thing about fireworks are once you buy them and light them, they go up, they go boom, you have fun for the night almost equivalent to going to like a strip club or going out to the bar you know after you drink that alcohol and all that stuff like it's over it's gone that's it so you know with me trying to do the whole pressure washing and investing i do want to do both 
income. So that's why I'm trying to supplement my income and not use the money that I currently have. I'm trying to add to that money so that I can get my pressure washer because I know that I'm going to feel some type of way mentally if I blow $200, $400 and that's on the cheap side for fireworks. And that's going to be, I'm good for the night compared to $1,200, $1,500 on a new pressure washing unit that can pay for itself and bring me more money and propel me forward with everything that's going on you know that I'm trying to do so that's kind of why I'm, I'm out and about you know I'm, I don't want to be out here like this you know because I feel like I'm coming in contact you know with you know more people than than I feel like I should because I'm doing deliveries you know so I'm gonna come in contact with people but I'm happy that I'm able to bring in some type of income last minute you know because that's kind of what this is this is not like you know we don't do set schedules or anything like that you know there it's not even a guarantee of how much i'm gonna make per day all of that stuff is just blown in the wind kind of floating so but i'm making the best out of it to work towards my goals and my dreams i do have my little uh decals on the car because this is my work car right now i got some i got some headers and stuff ordered from my other car uh, that car has been sitting for like a year and a half, and don't worry, I'm gonna start talking about that one too. I'm just gonna put videos up, you know. Ho you know, you can watch them, cool. Subscribe, like them, and whatnot. I'm gonna do my best to label videos right. I'm really just gonna try to just document my journey, and you know everything that I'm doing, you know, for me, so I can look back at it, because my mind is always twisted. Sometimes, like I, I say something and I really forgot. You know that I said that or I gave myself like I said something motivational like or some good advice and then I don't listen to it myself you know so I feel like these videos will be good for that because I'm gonna watch my own stuff I do hate my voice currently I'm still working on that problem um, I got friends they've heard me laugh I talk to people all the time but I truly never knew you know like I feel like the voice that I hear on the recordings when I'm watching this stuff back before I upload it, it's just a whole different person. You know, let me know in the bottom, you know, in the comments if you've ever done a recording of yourself and then played it back and was like, yo, who the fuck is that talking? You know, because I, I definitely hope, I don't think I'm the only one. My wife says she's definitely, uh, that's a definite thing that like everybody faces and goes through sometimes. So that's cool. But, quick little video about the updates and uh, what I'm trying to do with everything. So, hopefully I'll, I'll get this up today. If I don't plan on doing nothing special cut-wise, I'll probably just throw it up. But, you guys, keep faith alive. Oh, sorry, last thing. Uh, for this video, anyway. So, everybody has a thing, you know, I feel like at the end of the videos or they're trying to, like, do and say. Um two biggest things that I'm going to be trying to push for myself is to pay it forward pretty sure plenty of people talk about that and also dreaming big because I feel like that's all this is that I'm trying to do is I have a dream up here of the life that I want the things that I want and and how I, I want to live but you can't only dream you have to actually get on the ground and start doing some groundwork so I am currently a foot soldier on the ground trying to get that done. So dream big, pay it forward, and uh, keep hope alive.